माननीय सदस्य डॉक्टर प्रभा मल्लिकार्जुन जी Thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on the state of health in this country. This is my maiden speech, and first of all, I would like to thank the people of my constituency. Namma Davan Giri Lok Sabha Kshetra da yella mata bandhavarige na na atmiya krutagnete gado. I am proud that my maiden speech is about health care, which is close to my heart and profession. Honourable Speaker, Madam, I have five points to make today in the time I have been allocated. Underfunded and overlooked, our healthcare budget makes up only 2.1 percent of our GDP. Forget comparing ourselves to the USA, which spends 17.9 percent of its GDP on health. We are the lowest, even among the BRICS nations. Brazil spends 10 percent, South Africa 8.5 percent, Russia 7.5 percent, and our neighbour China 6.6 percent. We are not even meeting the government's own target of 2.5 percent. Is this how we will become Vishwa Guru? Health targets are not met. As on 2022, the infant mortality rate is 28. Target was 25. Here we have failed. Anemia prevalence amongst women has increased. It needs to be addressed with better and more comprehensive programs. Token increases, token promises. Honourable Speaker, sir, I would speak plainly, clearly, and honestly about how healthcare has not been given adequate importance in this budget. PMJAY benefits have been extended to ASHA and Anganwadi workers. PLIs have been set up for pharmaceutical industries. Custom duties have been revised on X-ray machines, cancer drugs, but these are all incremental changes. Where are the visionary steps we need to transform the healthcare sector? We can build bridges that cost around 20,000 crores. When will we get world-class government hospitals? The HPV vaccine, a preventive measure that challenges the third most common cancer amongst women, which is cervical cancer. It made headlines this year. The interim budget made it a priority, and I want to commend Mrs. Sudha Murthy for bringing it up as a critical concern in the Rajya Sabha. But when will we see a rollout plan for this vaccine? States like Kerala, Sikkim, Delhi, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, and Himachal Pradesh have been giving free HPV vaccines since 2016, and this requires immediate attention. Heal in India, heal by India, but who will heal the Indians? Honourable Speaker, sir, I commend the Centre for focusing on medical tourism. For economic growth, with the ambitious Heal in India and Heal by India initiatives, but honourable speaker, sir, who is going to heal the Indians first? What use is India's role as a global health leader when even today the Indians pay more than 63 percent of their medical expenses out of pocket, which has caused so many hardworking families to fall into crippling debt traps across the country? Forgotten priorities and forgotten lessons. Not too long ago, the COVID-19 ravaged the world, and we have failed to learn from it. A pandemic is not a question of if, honourable speaker, sir, but rather a question of when. It can be tonight, tomorrow, a week, a month, or a year from now. Our health infrastructure is inadequately prepared for such situations yet again. The first line of defence would be a healthy populace and more invest investment in robust health and research infrastructure and this budget will not get us there better way forward honorable speaker sir we medical professionals were looking for a healthcare leadership real vishwaguru thinking in this budget but we cannot find it higher allocations are needed for the national health mission and pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana in pmgay the quality of the infrastructure services reimbursement of bills need to be supervised regularly more funding is required for primary health infrastructure the standing committee on health and family welfare 2223 ranked india 176 out of the 196 countries in terms of current health expenditure that was spent out of pocket here i would like to extend my thanks to the center senior leader 
Nitin Gadkari ji for urging the finance minister to revoke the 18% GST on life and health insurance. We need more skilled professionals, strengthen and increase quality standards for NMC to get more numbers and skilled doctors. Karnataka has asked for an AIMS at Raichur, an aspirational district wherein the per capita income levels are still subpar compared to other regions. Kindly it is an urgent up, need to establish a high quality sir, medical madam, center. Madam speech, sir. Speech, sir, please. Just a minute, it is an urgent need to establish a high quality medical center at Raichur through the Pradhan Mantri Swastya Surakshi Yojana. Lastly, the Karnataka government signed a MOU with Azim Premji Foundation to provide eggs to school children on all days. The foundation will allocate 1,500 crores in three years. I want to thank them for their aid. If only the center knew one or two billionaires to help them out, start alphabetically with A, and they just might find someone. <laughs> Honorable Speaker, sir, 34 MPs sitting in this 18th Lok Sabha are medical professionals. Regardless of the aisles we sit in, each one of us has taken the Hippocratic Oath long before we took oath as parliamentarians. Honorable Speaker, sir, Vishwaguru kehne se koi Vishwaguru nahi bante. Vishwaguru ke jaise sochna zaruri hai. Vishwaguru banne ke liye teen cheeze chahiye, man, buddhi, aur aapke budget ka dhan. So if, the, if this is best we can do health, we need to get back to the drawing room. And I urge the center for visionary reforms. Halwa ka to pata nahi. I promise to serve my states, Mysore Park, meri taraf se at all meetings. Thank you, sir.